welcome to my channel my name is Fibu Wills if you are already a subscriber thank you so much for sticking by if you're a new subscriber you're welcome to my channel so today I have an interesting video I'm gonna be doing from the title you can tell I'm gonna be doing the uh, being black in Ukraine video so I'm just gonna basically tell you or carry you along my experience in Ukraine disclaimer this is not everybody's experience this is my experience is what i think about living in ukraine or what i experience being a black person in ukraine so i'm gonna i wrote down some points on my phone and i'm gonna be using that um to actually discuss this so the first thing the first thing i'm gonna be discussing is how they stare at you i don't know if this has happened to anybody but for me, it has happened to me a lot of times, countless times in fact. So um, the way they look at me is like they have never seen anybody like me or somebody with my skin tone or somebody with my kind of hair or anything, I don't know. But they stare a lot. And at times it can be very, very uncomfortable. The way they stare is actually <laughs> very, very ridiculous. And at times I'm just like... I try to like stare back like look at them the way they look at me to see if they're going to take their eyes off me but it seems like it just get worse so like at times I just take my eyes off and I just try to concentrate on other things I'm doing probably with my phone just to distract me yeah so really the way they look it, it can be very uncomfortable believe me it can be very very uncomfortable especially maybe when you are in a commercial bus or maybe you are in the metro and all that like it could it can be very very uncomfortable so that's the first one the first one is actually the way they stare um secondly the second one is actually um skin tone or skin compliment so this can be in a good way and in a bad way at the same time so at times they try to understand why our skin colors are actually different Sometimes you see them look at their skin and they look at us at the same time. So they're like, why is this person's skin this way? Why is this person's skin so, like, why is your skin so chalky? I believe people that you meet at times that will just tell you, oh, can I touch your skin? Let me feel how your skin is and all that. It can be, it can be cute at times. Yeah, it can be cute. They're very inquisitive. They want to know, like, why you're like this. And at times they even ask you, like, do you tan? Like, that's most of the question that they ask. Do you tan? Why is your skin this way? And the elderly ones, they want to touch your skin. They want to feel it. At, at times, they will touch your skin and they will touch theirs at the same time. And they're like, oh, why Why does your skin feel different from mine? And I'll be like, I don't know. I don't know. That's just how I am. So at times, it can be cute. At times, not. When it's not cute is when you see people, like, maybe whispering when you're in public and they're like, look at this black person see how black her skin is and all that that's not cute that's really really not cute um next one is safety in ukraine sincerely i'm gonna tell you from my own point of view especially if you're coming to ukraine to study i think it's quite safe it's quite safe if you're just coming to do what brought you here and just finish it up and go back to your country or maybe go to any other country you want to go to i think it's, it's safe to an extent so if you're just gonna be here if you just come here to probably just go to school you go to school you go to probably um basic places you're supposed to go to like supermarket maybe shopping malls and all that because there like there will be a lot of people around you i don't mean you cannot be attacked in malls or you cannot be attacked in supermarkets and all that it can happen but most times it's almost impossible for you to get attacked in public places so so if you're coming to study you do what brought you here try to avoid problems try to avoid going to places that you know you you will probably get in trouble when you go there then i think ukraine is actually safe when it comes to that so so when it comes to studying when it comes to studies in general I'm gonna give Ukraine, let me say, um, based on academic performance, I'm gonna give Ukraine a six. Why am I giving Ukraine a six? 
I'm giving Ukraine a 6 because Ukraine is not an English speaking country. So if you're coming here, it's either you study in Ukrainian, Russian, or you study in English. If you're studying in Ukrainian or Russian, definitely that's not your mother language or your mother tongue. So you might not understand everything completely, which is actually a problem. But when we talk about English, I told you Ukraine is not an English speaking country, which means their English professors, their English teachers don't really speak very good English. So definitely when it comes to lectures, most times you give you're being given handouts to actually go and learn on your own and most times those handouts are translated like they're google translated and when stuff are google translated you know they don't come out like exactly the way they are supposed to be so definitely you're not gonna be learning as you should and even when you go for lectures as i told you the teachers their english is not so good so you'll probably not get a lot of information as much as if you're studying in an english speaking country so this is it so at the end of the day you will have to do a lot of self studies you have to study almost everything by yourself you have to download test books by yourself and you you have to basically read on your own so most times you see a lot of students in ukraine they go crazy because they have to read all by themselves they have to do all this by themselves so there is basically no time for a lot of activities but for those that don't want to study of course they're going to create time and they're going to create opportunities for them to actually do whatever they want to do so Another thing, that's like one thing about studying in Ukraine. But if you're studying by yourself, if you try to read online or maybe download test books that will help you and all that, then you're good to go. Another thing about studies, I feel like um, if a student is coming to a different country and is gonna study in a particular university, that university should be responsible for that student what i don't really appreciate about um studying in ukraine is the fact that most times these universities they don't really take responsibility for those um for the students in the sense that most times they are being treated differently from other races or maybe from other foreigners this is what i'm talking about like for example uh, uh maybe an arabic person can be in the same kind of situation with a, a black person and the Arabic person will be favored more than the way the black is gonna be favored. So, which is actually to an extent, like not to an extent is really bad because I feel like you should, all the students should be treated the same. There are a lot of cases of expulsion that they expel students from school because of school fees maybe because of the works or maybe because of um, not attending classes which i feel like attending classes i understand i understand students should always attend classes but there are times that there are things that come up that a student cannot go to school and there are times that they put students in some type of situations that students can't handle and at times students end up taking drastic actions which is really really bad then the next thing i'm gonna be speaking about is about racism so um i feel like every country every country i feel like even in nigeria in african countries they are racist is the truth they are racist everywhere so i'm not gonna come here and tell you oh there is no racism in ukraine or i'll tell you oh there is a lot of racism in ukraine or i'll tell you oh ukrainians are racist no i'm not gonna do that i'm just gonna give you an example or i'm gonna share with you my story and you can see how it is so they are they are racist in ukraine and they are quite friendly and normal people too at the same time so i'm gonna start with the normal ones for example like you're a foreigner maybe when you come newly to a place not even newly you can decide okay i want to go to this place i don't know the place but maybe i want to use google map and you get missing at the end of the day when you meet people on the road you meet them um ukrainians on the road you ask them like for direction there are some people that are very nice enough they will be very nice they will direct they will direct you accurately to where you want to go to. They will even be friendly. They will try to crack jokes and all that. There's this gym I um, I used to go, and 
the owner of the gym is super friendly like every time he sees me in the gym he's always like very nice he tries to make me feel comfortable and all that it's very good sometimes i can go to a shop and i'll see the people in the shop they are extremely nice they try to crack jokes with you they try to be friendly they try to make you feel comfortable because they know it's not your country you need to be comfortable for you to be able to be yourself and for you to be able to like live normally like every other person but then again there are other people that are very very unnice very unnice like for example earlier today i went to a store i wanted i wanted to get stuff and a friend of mine came to meet me there and he, he wanted to come into the store because of the quarantine and all that normally like they queue up outside for people to actually like um go into the shop maybe like one after the other so he was trying to come into like the store and the security there stopped him he, he stopped him like he can't go inside so i came and i was like why can't he come inside he was like because only eight people can be in the store at a time and i told my friend okay just wait wait outside and he was just standing outside so one person just left the store and the next thing the man left i allowed two other people to come in and my friend was still standing outside and I was like, why would he act that way? It's a very awkward thing. I'm not saying he's being racist, but it's just not nice because like he let other two people go in and he didn't let my friend go in, which is actually very weird. But my friend wanted to react. I just told him, just let it go. Like let everything just go. Like there's no need to react to all these type of things. There are many other ones. My friend some time ago got harassed by like two two Ukrainians that they just stopped her on the way and they started talking about her body futures. They were like, oh, look at her boobs and all that. It's very wrong. Another of my friends got attacked by skinheads. Like he literally broke his jaw. Like he couldn't talk properly for a bit. So these are the type of things I'm talking about. Some of them can be very nice to an extent, but then again, there are some of them that can really, really be very aggressive and very, very racial, which is very unacceptable. I feel like we're all humans. We should all be treated equally. I had my own share too. There was the day I went to the market. I wanted to get some vegetables. So I went to the market to get some vegetables. I told the guy what I wanted to buy and everything. And he was trying to pack the things I wanted. And the next thing that came out of his mouth was like, was you're a monkey, right? And I was shocked for a minute. And I was like, I wanted to react. But then again, I was like, I shouldn't give this man the opportunity to get the better part of me. My, my day was going perfectly. I was like, this man is not going to ruin my day. So I just let him finish packing everything. I asked him to put. Then I just told him, you are a monkey too, right? Immediately I asked him that question. He was shocked because he didn't know I actually like understood what he was trying to say. And I just walked away. When I walked away, he didn't even have the nerve to actually call me back to come buy the stuff because he knows definitely I'm not going to buy it. So the people, people had their own, people had their own share. I have my own share. I'm just telling you my own story. If you haven't experienced any um, racial attack or any racial, um, any racism in Ukraine, it's a good thing. There is a possibility everywhere you live is quite friendly, or maybe you've never experienced it. I'm not praying for you to experience experience any of that. But then again. Uh, just like every other country they are racist and they are the normal nice people as well so if you're planning to come to ukraine i hope you watch this video and i hope it, it gives you an insight about how ukraine is or how um living as a black person is in ukraine and hopefully you try to do the right things you try to avoid places that you can probably get attacked and believe me if you're coming here to study you have to do a lot of studying by yourself so when you do that, you take all these precautions and all that, definitely I think Ukraine is going to be good for you. And again, Ukraine, the standard of living in Ukraine is quite affordable. The apartments are affordable, the food is affordable. Basically, the transportation is affordable. So if you want to come to Ukraine, you're welcome. And please 
this is the end of my video i want you guys to like comment share and subscribe to my channel i'm gonna be bringing a lot of interesting topics and a lot of interesting things for us to do i hope you guys enjoyed this one and i will see you guys on my next video you have a nice day and bye